Hello, the internet is becoming more and more regulated and now often when visiting different websites you will see this kind of cookies banners where you can either accept cookies or reject cookies. And this is what we are going to do in this episode. We are going to add a cookies uh, policy banner that is going to be visible whenever we visit any page on the application and uh, the user will see it until he either accepts or rejects the cookies. So if I click accept then the uh, cookies banner has disappeared and this decision has been stored in the session. So here we see uh, the user has accepted the cookies and we are going to store this in the session so we'll not need some kind of user model and the user doesn't have to be logged in to store this decision because we are storing it in the local session storage. So without further ado, let's start uh, doing it. I will say git checkout main and uh, we have just one home controller with just one page at the moment. Uh, it is the home index page, so uh, here it is. And the root is uh, just home index, so this is the starting point. And we'll need some kind of cookies page. So let's uh, create a new controller for cookies. Let's say Rails generate controller cookies index. And it has generated the cookies controller and a cookies index page. Let's have a look at the roots. So it has get cookies index. If we open localhost rails info roots, it is cookies index path. Let's make it just cookies. I will say get uh, cookies to cookies controller index action. And now it is cookies path. Okay, so uh, let's uh, try to display this kind of uh, cookies on all the pages of our application. And to do this, we will uh, add a turbo frame. Yeah, this is actually the key uh, technology that we are going to use in this episode, turbo frames. So in the application layout, we are going to render a turbo frame that will remotely render the cookies index. I will say equals turbo frame tag cookies modal and the source, so the remote URL is going to be cookies path. Now I refresh and obviously it does not show anything because we don't have a matching turbo frame tag inside our cookies index. So let's wrap all the content inside cookies index into this turbo frame tag, tag cookies model and put it in a block. And let's see. So you see the cookies index gets rendered via a turbo frame on uh, the home index page and it will also be visible on any page that is using the application layout. Okay, so we render this cookies index and let's style it a bit so that it actually does look like a cookies constant model. So I will add a section tag and let's style it. So I will say class, uh, let's say cookies modal and let's add the cookies model classes to our application CSS. So we will have dot cookies model and we'll say position uh, absolute. Uh, then left uh, 0 0.5 rem, right, oh, bo bottom also 0 0.5 rem. Uh, then what else? So it is going to be on top of content. So I will say Z uh, index, uh, let's say two. Let's see how it looks. So now it is on the bottom of the page. Let's add some color. Let's say background uh, will be uh, bisque or something like that. Okay, then we'll add some padding. Also 0.5 RAM. Word break break word, uh, let's say border radius would be also open five RAM, uh, mean width would be 50%, and max width would be, let's say, 24 RAM. Okay, and it looks already better. So it actually does look like uh, a cookies model now. But we would need a couple of buttons to accept and reject the cookies. And we would need to store this decision. So we would have uh, to add these buttons in the cookies model. Let's say it will be link to accept. 
then we will go back to the cookies path and we are going to pass a param so cookies accepted true and the same thing for reject i will have reject and cookies accepted will be false now let's uh, refresh and here we have these two links so accept and reject let's try opening accept in new tab and you see we go to the cookies url and we have a param cookies accepted equals true and uh, based on this param we are going to store something in the session so here in our index we will say session and uh, let's say uh, cookies accepted uh, equals params so the param name is cookies accepted uh, and we're going to store this if uh, params cookies accepted is uh, present okay let's uh, close these pages let's uh, click accept and uh, well did anything happen let's try to display our selection so section Oh, session cookies accepted. Let's display it all around the application. Let's say equals session cookies accepted. And it is true. Now I click reject. I will refresh the page and it is false. So our decision is uh, stored in the, the session. Okay, but uh, we still want to the, the model to disappear after we make our decision and not show up again. So uh, we would need to add a condition inside the cookies index. I will display these cookies only if uh, session cookies is uh, nil. So I will say if session cookies accepted equals nil, then we're going to display the cookies model. Let's uh, see. So I refresh and the cookies model is not visible. But if we go to inspect element, go to body. Okay, we still have this turbo frame uh, with the ID uh, displayed. So maybe we don't need to even display the turbo frame with the cookies model if uh, uh, the cookies have been uh, selected. So we can uh, also uh, not display the turbo fra frame if the cookies have been selected. I will say uh, display the turbo frame if uh, session cookies accepted equals nil. Now I will refresh and you see the whole turbo frame isn't displayed anymore. So uh, now the turbo frame isn't visible. But uh, let's try to debug it a bit more and uh, let's uh, let clear our cookies selection. So how can we uh, clear our selection? Well, let's just go to our home controller and let's say session cookies accepted equals nil. So we are going to manually add this to our home controller uh, that when we visit this page we are going to uh, set cookies accepted to nil i will refresh the page and you see it has been set to nil and uh, there is no cookies selection made at the moment now i click accept you see the model has disappeared and uh, well if i refresh the page so cookies accepted is true and based on this cookies accepted is true you can make different uh, code modifications in your application so for example if you use some kind of like uh, uh, google analytics uh, something like render uh, layout google analytics uh, if session cookies accepted equals true so you could make some conditional changes uh, in uh, your application if the user allows uh, you to track him something like this and uh, yeah that's basically it so the key here was to add a remote turbo frame tag that would lead to our cookies uh, path here we display the content only if the cookies uh, has not been uh, accepted and we have a link to accept and reject the cookies and uh, we pass the params to our cookies controller and write the selection to the session so that's about it now i have selected the cookies it is true i uh, will set it to nil manually and now let's say i will reject cookies 
I refresh and it is false and the cookies banner doesn't show up again anywhere in the application. So I hope you found it useful. Have fun coding. Goodbye.